In this video, we are going to solve a gate problem related to type number of the system. We already had a topic related to type number of system. We already uh, had a video related to this type number of the system. Um, type number of the system can be defined by the denominator of this transfer function that means so if this is the loop transfer function g of s into h of s the denominator of that loop transfer function g of s into h of s will defines the type number of the system so in that topic i already given this equation so for example if g of s into h of s is in the form of k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on divided by s power n into s plus p1 s plus p2 and the so on so if your loop transfer function is in this form the denominator of this loop transfer function will define the type number of the system that means whether that is type 0 type 1 type 2 or type 3 system like that where n indicates type number of the system if n is equal to 0 that means if you are not having s term then that is type 0 system if you are having s so s power 1 is there so n is equal to 1 we can say that is type 1 system here for example s square is there that n is equal to 2 we can say that is type 2 system if s cube is there type 3 system like that we we are going to determine the type number of the system i am just going to compare this equation with that equation my given g of s into h of s is equal into k into 1 plus 0 0.5 into s divided by s into 1 plus s or s plus 1 1 plus 2 s like this i am having so here i am having s so s power i am having 1 so n is equal to 1 in this case so it will say this is type 1 system for example, you will get some doubt that is this is not in S plus P1. So, you just revert you will get S plus P1 form. So, if you take common of this S, so you will get this form. So, 1 by no need to take common of 1 plus 2 S. Why? Because you will get by solving by equating this is equal to 0, you will get P2 value. You may have 2S or 3S like that. Only you need to see S term here. So, here in the power of s you are having 1 that means n is equal to 1 by comparing these two equations this term will be used to solve the pole 1 this term is used to solve pole p2 and here z1 z2 like this that means z1 z2 z3 all these are zeros p1 p2 p3 all these are poles if you want to get 0 you need to equate numerator to 0 if you want poles you need to equate the specific terms in denominator to 0 this s term specifically indicates the type number of the system so s power we need to see here in our problem on s power you are having one so this will comes under type 1 system so this is type 1 system so here this is type of closed loop system is one so type 1 system b is the right option for this problem by this simple points you are going to get one or two marks in gate so that's why we need to keep in mind about each and every theoretical topic type number of the system is very simple topic according to the denominator s power you are going to determine the type number of the system so here by knowing that simple point you are going to get the marks in gate like technical exams